Welcome back to the channel everyone, North47 here, some more PGA Tour 2K21 and I've got my tinfoil hat on for this one, I'm going on conspiracy mode. <laughs> now, uh, gameplay in the background is just from the Skipjack Open in career mode at the, uh, what's it called, Tarawa Golf Club, just popped up on the screen there, couldn't think of the name of it, but um, what I want to talk about here in this video is not specifically tied to PGA Tour 2K21, it can actually be, be for any game and like, I mean, I don't know if I'm actually just genuinely going crazy or not, maybe you've possibly experience this yourself let me know down below um, now I'm going to give a couple of examples from a couple of different well sorry I was going to say a couple of games but a couple of genres <coughs> of games where I've experienced this sort of thing before as well and then I'll move on to the recent experience of it earlier on today in PGA Tour 2K21 now I have been noticing it kind of slightly but not really paying too much attention since I've been going back through, because I have mentioned in the last couple of videos that I am going back through all the sponsors to unlock. I've, I'm actually using a lot of um, Ben Hogan clubs here. I'm working on finishing off the Ben, ben Hogan sponsor. Um, so I'll start off with a couple, of, a couple of examples from the other genres. And what I want you to think back is, if you remember, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Um, in particular, with those games, it would be the car list so doing your exports robbing the cars and exporting them or I can't remember Grand Theft Auto 3 but no I don't it wasn't in, in GTA 3 but in Vice City and San Andreas you also had your showrooms so you'd be collecting cars for your showrooms as well and for them sort of things you'd have your three lists of cars I think if I remember correct it was 10 cars per list and say the first list you'd have all your your low-end cars your low-budget cars that you'd see them absolutely everywhere like one of them could be a taxi or something like that so no problem to get so you kind of you get yourself through the first list say about and say just say for example it took an hour to get through it you got them 10 cars thought you had this a piece of piss uh right we'll move on to the next list the next list loads up once that list generates you're starting to move on to we we'll just say your your mid-range sort of maybe low-end sports cars or something like that and before that list loaded up, you were seeing those cars quite regularly, if not all the time. But now they're starting to become a little bit more rare. Um, so it takes a little bit longer, but eventually you get all the cars. And you move on then to the third list. So you've got your high-end cars, all the sports cars like the Banshees, the Infernus, the whole lot, all those cars. <coughs> and although you'd see, you'd see them around the odd time, once that list loaded up, it's like the cars were non-existent in the game. And a fine example, I always remember when I was first going through San Andreas and I was going for 100% completion on that. There was, I think it was the, I think it was the Infernus, or it was something very similar to, uh, to the Infernus anyway. And it was on the third list. And this particular car was always... I mean, 100%, you were 100% guaranteed to always get this at one of the casinos in Las Venturas. It was always parked in the, it'd be a different colour, um, but it was always, if you went there, it was always guaranteed to be there. Once that list loaded up, for me to require, for, um, I was required to get that car for that list, gone. Could not get it. It took forever to find the car. Uh, and then I, I always remember just, just by chance happened to spot it. I was flying down the road and just happened to catch one just at the limbs one going past me whipped it around went and got the car as soon as i completed that list that car was always back there it was always back there um the other example that i could give would be for any of you who play for example one that i always used to play the call of duty games um so just say for example modern warfare not the not the 2019 Modern Warfare, but just say like Modern Warfare Remastered or the original um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And you're going for your camos on the guns. So just say for example your golden AK. And obviously if you've played it, you'll you'll remember that that requires headshots. So what first level of headshots? What is it, 25 headshots or something like that? You get like a woodland camo. Ah, oh, that's no problem, piss through that. Uh, I think the next one then was something like 50 headshots or something, a total of 50 headshots. Then you get, I think it was urban camo or whatever. No problem, you get it, get through that fairly easy. Next one, I can't, I can't, I was digital, digital if I remember correct on that. Then the next one then was, I think it was 75, get up to 75 headshots or else it was a total of 75 headshots. Um, 
from scratch I, can't, I think it was from scratch that starts to get a little bit trickier but then when you're going for that final one for the the red tiger if i remember correct it was um 150 headshots and then it's just it's almost like you can you can hit absolutely everywhere your bullets will hit everywhere but the head it just becomes <laughs> it just becomes so difficult to actually hit a headshot that was like i mean not only me but it was friends of mine were saying like point blank like you come running up behind somebody who's camping in the corner and uh, you point the aim at the head but yeah it gets a body hit and you know <laughs> what the hell happened there but uh, that's a couple of that's like kind of a couple of examples from as i say different genres and it can happen across any other game as well but what happened to me earlier on today was in career mode as i say i'm working away on the ben hogan sponsors and i was playing the uh valero texas open tpc san antonio and the challenge for the contract that i'd done the, tr the three challenges one of them was not tied specifically to that event it was to finish an event with at six under or better but the other two um actually no i'm sorry big pardon two of them weren't uh, another one was hit 80 percent of fairways in regulation um well a minimum of 80 percent fairways but the one that was tied specifically to that event was to finish in third place or better so finish finish in the top three and as soon as i hit the first tee i hadn't until before i actually uh, activated this con this uh this particular contract um i was having no problems no problems whatsoever with tempo hit the first tee on tpc san antonio hit a red slow into the into the uh, into the rough Thought, all right doesn't matter i can miss it's 80 percent of fairways out here so i can afford to miss another two as a uh, yeah 20 percent of 18 is 3.6 so can, you can miss three fairways and like obviously that includes par three as well if even though you don't hit the green if you landed in the the little bailo area fairway it'll still count um so as i hit the hit the red slow on the first tee second tee red fast i went the other way hit the rough and i thought you've got to be bloody well kidding me that this is happening so i could only afford to miss one more <clears throat> and then i managed to hit a couple of fairways thought right okay right it must have been just me rhythm was off i was get i was uh I was still getting a little. I was still getting a uh, grey fast, grey slows. I thought, right, it's getting there, it's getting there. I'm getting the fairways. It's grand. I think it was the sixth or seventh hole. Bang into the into the rough again. I thought, oh, you, I cannot afford to miss any more. And then the tempo was just going again. It was just now. There was actually there was uh, not long ago one of the videos uh, subscriber, if I remember correct, it was yourself anyway. Uh, T Mitchell, you were saying about tempo going just haywire mid round just inex unexplicably or inexplicably should i say um i'm one like let me know down below because I'm, I'm sure you'll see this video if uh, if it's if it's in career mode specifically and maybe when you have contracts uh sponsor contracts going um but as soon as i missed the fourth fairway things started coming back to normal tempo wise and i, I, I was hitting the fairways i was I, I was genuinely hitting the fairways it was like right you you the game is it's as if the game said right you failed that challenge so uh, i'll let you play on properly i struggled around that course now i've played that course plenty of times so i know i know my way around the course and i can easily shoot eight nine ten eleven twelve under par on that course these were calm con relatively calm conditions for the event as well wind was low uh conditions weren't overly firm or fast that doesn't bother me at all whatever the, the firmness and the speed is and i actually struggled my way around that event well, i'm doing a single round events as well just to get them done and uh, i struggled for three under par and the winner ended up being five under par i was on track to be tied for third and just barely scrape it and i picked up a bogey on the 18th and dropped back i dropped back to finish three under par and had me tied for it um so that was two well ten, in on track for two missed uh well sorry actually on track for three because one of them was uh, to score six under or better so i thought right fair enough i've i've failed that one i'll move on to the next one and uh again as soon as the round started couldn't i hit a fairway <clears throat> and i struggled around and could not better six under par i think if i remember correct the third event actually i just barely scraped it. i just barely scraped the six under par but again with the fairways 
as soon as I kind of missed the fourth or fifth fairway, once once I'd gone past the threshold where I I had automatically failed it, everything went back to normal. And uh, I mean the the lang now I'm sure he's aware of some of my videos like you know there'll be a little bit of language in them like you know I try to keep it I try to keep it relatively low. Um, <clears throat> there will be the odd occasion where there is a, an old f bomb comes flying out of me, but I mean. The language that came out, I went absolutely ballistic when I could not get them challenges done. Relatively easy challenges, could not get them done. And uh, I would have been, I, I think I would have beaten the record, within the space of 10 minutes I would have beaten the record for uh, the amount of F-bombs that were that were in like Scarface. I would have made Tony Montana blush, I was cursing that bad. I just, I, as I say, I lost the head. Um, so I thought, right, fair enough, failed that contract, started up the next contract, and I can't remember what the other two ones were, but one of the goals was to finish, Was it, the, it was either the Zurich Classic or the Wells Fargo, uh, I think it was the Zurich Classic, to win that one, and I was getting around, and again, I was struggling, I was nipping at the heels of the leaders, and I was like, what the hell is going on, 16th hole, I'm four under par and I'm tied for first. Finish the 16th. I parred the 16th hole and uh, the little leaderboard, the little mini leaderboard comes up down the bottom left and out of nowhere, I mean out of nowhere because the next scores below me were like two under and uh, Paul Casey, five under par through, hole, through 17 and I'm like what? No, seriously, he's he's like he's a hole ahead of me. He's been nowhere on the bloody leaderboard for the whole round. I know all of a sudden he's one shot ahead of me. What is going on? So he was through 17. He ended up finishing four, uh, at the 500 par. And I parred the 17th and the 18th. It's like the putts just wouldn't drop. You'll actually probably, you'll see it here in, uh, I'm pretty sure. Excuse my putt lines as well in this video. Uh, my, put, my putt line is just atrocious. And again, it's just out all of a sudden when the putt counts... It's like the put line is just it's gone crazy when it when i know i it then doesn't matter it's like the put line is grand i don't know what, i don't know if that's just me um <laughs> control on the stick but i'm pretty sure in in uh, at this round i had a couple of i had a couple of more than a couple of puts that should have dropped because i had one that was minimal break right edge left uh, a right to left put and this thing broke hard and I missed on the left side and it was only like a five six foot putt and it just it it stuck on its indicator and it just went left and the putt my putt line was actually straight in that one it wasn't all I don't know where I'm getting this sharp angle on the bottom half of my putt line from all of a sudden I don't know where that's come in but um no this one just turned hard left and I'm like that did not there's no way that can have missed and it missed bad it missed like at least like half a cup to a cup left it just took a sharp turn and it was a minimal right to left break and uh, again if i remember, that was uh one of them was one of the challenges for that was was it a three put yeah 10 percent three put avoidance or or less and it's basically like as if the game is saying right he needs this screw him up and uh, that's why that's why i'm wondering like is there actually because the fact that I, I see it across other games as well is is that let me know if you think it the same yourself if you've experienced it is there actually i'm wondering is there actually something built into the code of games to say right this challenge has been activated let's mess it up a little bit or whatever like kind of make it a bit more difficult whereas something that should be as straightforward as this little put here did i actually was this the one for hole 14 minimal put Oh, I, I I massively pulled that one actually. I massively pulled that one. Don't know what happened. My thumb got the yips there, but um, yeah, like is there something in games that just says right? It's time to make this a bit more challenging than, sh than it should be, um, and to just not uh, piss off the player basically, <laughs> like you know. But it's just I genuinely I just I have I have to just like ask ourselves, have you experienced this? Um, yourselves like i mean even in society events like i mean well i suppose you can't really say society events because at the end of the day you know you know you've that, that, that i think that's more psychological to be honest on your own part 
it could it could actually be the same even with just doing this you know you've got to get these shots off or you've got to complete the certain goal so it's uh, is it a psychological thing but stemming back to what i said at the start of the video about the likes of grand theft auto i mean that's not a psychological thing uh, unless you're just getting um what would you call it um subjective or objective blindness or something like that in terms of like looking for the car a specific car for a list or something like that but other people as i say other people have mentioned that to me before about um when they'd be going for those specific cars and those lists like what the hell as soon as as soon as i went to uh complete this specific list the cars that were on the list just became almost non-existent they were ultra rare to find whereas before the list was activated I, I was seeing them on the on the odd occasion but uh yeah that's what i just thought i just thought i'd do this video so just to get your point of view on it as well have you experienced any of this sort of thing where they where it's like the game just bumps you up to insane difficulty well no not insane difficulty but extra hard mode <laughs> or something like that put you in a, a sweaty try hard to to try and get it done because i'm just baffled by it, how i struggled so bad with the valero texas open and uh as soon like in particular those fairways that one that was the one that started triggering the one to do this video because as soon as i had missed as soon as i missed the fourth fairway and i knew then that that, that challenge was uh failed for that particular event i had the, i had another two chances and still managed to fail but as soon as i missed the fourth fairway i started hitting the fairways again and it's as if it's almost as if the game said right it's done for this round it's done for this event or round whatever you can't do it now let's return to normal <laughs> it's just absolutely crazy well i think i'm going crazy i honestly don't know but uh that is going to do it with my commentary anyway for this video i am going to leave you with the final haul here at the skipjack open on tarot golf club in career mode for pga tour 2k21 if you've managed to make it this round of video thank you very much for watching i hope you did enjoy it here are my crazy ramblings uh if you did make sure to drop it a like if you haven't done so already make sure to hit subscribe i shall talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now